In this video, we will discuss the if function. The if function is a logical function that will return one value if a certain condition is true and another value if it is false. For example, you could write an if formula that will give a bonus to employees who have more than $10,000 in sales. Your formula would read something like, if the employee sales are greater than $10,000, then they have earned a bonus. If their sales are not greater than $10,000, the employee will not receive a bonus. Now, statements like this one surround us every day. If it is raining, we should bring an umbrella. Uh, if we do not complete our homework, we will not do well on the test. Anything that you can evaluate as being either true or false can be expressed using the if function. Let's try a few examples. I will cover three different if functions, all highlighting different things that you can include in your formulas. In this spreadsheet, we have an order form for a fireworks company. We will use an if function first to calculate the charge cells. Our if formula will determine whether the customer has ordered a quantity greater than zero. If they have, we will multiply the price by the quantity. If not, we will leave the cell blank. To start the if function, you will need to open the function arguments dialog box. Click the function button above your spreadsheet. You may need to search for the if function. Once you find it, you can view the function arguments. We have three arguments or pieces of information we need to provide for the if function to work properly. The first is the logical test. The logical test is our condition that is either true or false. In this case, we will check whether the value in E20, our first quantity cell, is greater than zero. The next argument asks us to indicate what will happen if E20 is indeed greater than zero. This is our value if true. If the quantity is greater than zero, we want to calculate the price times the quantity, which is D20 multiplied by E20. Lastly, we have our value if false. What happens if the quantity is not greater than zero? We want to return a blank cell, so we will type two sets of quotation marks. Anytime you want to include text in a formula, you must put it in quotation marks. To show a blank cell, we will only put the quotation marks with no text in between. When I copy the formula to all five customer order rows, notice that only the first three contain data. The last three are blank because they've returned the false value. If we were to add a new item quantity, the charge would calculate automatically. This saves us time from having to calculate the formula each time. You can also include calculations within an if function as either the true or false value. We will try an example to calculate the discount field. If the customer orders $200 or more of product, we will give them a discount of 3%. The logical test in this case would be whether the subtotal is greater than or equal to 200. Let's go ahead and open up our if function arguments. So we want to see whether the subtotal is greater or equal to 200. So we'll write this as F27 greater than or equal to 200. If that is a true statement, we will calculate a discount for the customer. The discount is calculated by multiplying the subtotal by 3%. This is our value if true. Our false value should indicate that the customer does not have a subtotal of at least $200. We will not give a discount, so our false value would be zero. Lastly, we will calculate the shipping. There are two types of shipping, standard and overnight. Since we have two options, we can assign one shipping type as the true value and one as the false. Cell C15 indicates the type of shipping that's been selected. 
this customer chose standard shipping. So we will say that if the shipping type is standard, we will return the cost of standard shipping. Otherwise, we will return the overnight shipping cost. You can find the shipping costs up here in rows 9 and 10. Now we can also write our formulas directly into the cell. We always start our formulas with an equal sign. Then we'll type the word if. You will see the if function in the menu. Double click if to add it to the formula. We are given a screen tip with the syntax of the if function. The syntax is if and then in parentheses the logical test value if true, value if false, separated by commas. We must follow this t syntax exactly to get the correct result for our formula. First, I need to enter the logical test. Notice that this portion of the formula is bold, since that is the part of the formula we're working on. The logical test in this case would be C15 equals standard putting standard in quotation marks since it is text. Our true value will be the standard shipping cost found in cell F9. Our value of false will be F10, the cost for overnight shipping. After finishing my formula, we can see the correct shipping amount for this customer is $4.99. The if function is a very powerful tool that allows us to quickly identify or calculate information and even allows us to make decisions quickly. We will continue to build on this concept, so be sure that you practice the if function carefully.